peace to everybody. Uh, this is about Senator Warren, who was um, given $90,000 by Amazon, Google, and Facebook. But uh, in the meantime, she wants to, she's calling for a breakup of these giant techs. Senator Elizabeth Warren has called for breaking up Amazon, Google, and Facebook, even as she raked in campaign donations from executives and employees of the big tech firms, according to a report on Tuesday. Well, first of all, Elizabeth Warren has no authority over these giant techs whatsoever. She's not allowed to do this. She and for her to call for breaking up of Amazon, Google, and Facebook, that's just plain wrong because she has no authority over this. She must have been bribing them or doing something, and you know these Democrats are a bunch of evil rats. The 2020 Democratic presidential candidate accepted at least $90,000 from employees of the three top-tier tech companies between 2011 and 2018, including a $2,700 contribution from Facebook's Chief Operating Officer Cheryl Sandberg, Paul, like, whatever, reported. Well, you know, I mean, they should have never gave Elizabeth Warren $90,000 and then including $2,700 on top of it. That's just plain wrong what she is doing. The Democrats are doing everything they can to break up these tech companies. And, you know, Mark Zuckerberg is not going to go for this at all because he owns Facebook and along with his wife. And he's not going to put up with this. Google, I'm pretty sure they're not going to allow it either. And neither is Amazon because these are multi-billion dollar companies that she's trying to break up. The amount came from donors who gave at least $200 to her two Senate campaigns and who listed their employers, the report said. Speaking at a rally on Friday in Long Island City where Amazon backed out of building a second headquarters because of location opposition, Warren proposed that tech companies with annual global incomes of more than $25 billion dollars could not own both the platform ut utility and participants on that platform. Well, in a way they can, but now they're trying to say that they can't own more than one platform because of all these high-tech companies that are really a lot of, worth a lot of money, and none of them is going to be letting them go ever. It would force tech be behemoths to spin off their companies and break up mergers like Amazon and Whole Foods, Google and DoubleClick, and Facebook and Instagram. The Warren campaign, which has said it won't accept donations from corporate PACs and big donor fundraisers, wouldn't say if they would reject contributions from tech employees in the future. So Elizabeth Warren has really is really trying hard to get rid of these companies but nobody's going to go for them and if any of these tech companies break up it will be her fault because she is finding every which way she can to get these tech companies to break up and like i said the democrats are evil they are doing it because they're mad because Donald Trump is president and they can't handle it. And Donald Trump is doing everything he can to stop all these Democrats who are evil. She doesn't take PAC money and federal lobbyist money. She isn't holding high dollar fundraisers where people can buy access. She's not auditioning for billionaires to start super PACs. And she is proposing bringing up some of the biggest tech companies in the country. Spokeswoman Christian Orthman told whatever that last name is, clearly she's not influenced by their money. So like I said, Elizabeth Warren has no authority over these tech companies. She's not the owner of them, even though they gave her $90,000, which I do believe it's a big mistake. Because once these companies go, there's going to be nothing left of them. So 
they need to fight Senator Warren to keep her from breaking up these companies and not let them get away with it not at all. Especially when you got um, Google. Google owns Facebook. They own YouTube and whatever other companies they use. They... It's just not going to happen with her because she's too evil. And you know these Democrats are just plain evil as usual, doing grimy stuff every day. So, you know, and they're just not going to get away with it too much longer. Anyway, tell me what you think in your comments below. I'm out.